So when you know there's going to be a pursuit, what goes through your mind? Uh, it's, a, it's a little nerve wracking at first. I mean, it, you, you gotta get through your mind you got to keep yourself calm. First. And Officer Gabe Figueroa has learned to do that because he's been involved in several police pursuits, half a dozen last year alone. The adrenaline hits you as soon as that car takes off, your adrenaline hits you from it's zero to 100. Like Chief McClay told us, officers go back to their training. How to handle the car and, mm -hmm. you know, you're, you're about to hit a sharp curve, slow down a little bit. You they know, weigh the dangers. Like What's going to be the cost of the pursuit? Is it, is it worth catching them? Is it, should we terminate? That's important because the decision to start a chase is the officers alone. I just want to make sure my officers are really well trained so they understand how to make those, make those judgments. But after the chase starts, the officer is not alone. This is all playing out on the police radio. A supervisor back at the station is listening in, advising. They're listening for speeds, the reason for the pursuit, the context in which we're operating. And you're always aware of this. Yeah, always aware, you know. Okay. Call out over the radio what the roads look like, how many people are out there. Regardless of the circumstances, there's always a mystery and a danger about the car they're chasing. What's inside that car, you know? Am I gonna... <laughs> Am I going to find a gun? Am I going to find dope? Am I going to, God forbid, find someone killed in that car?